Now the Y perm is likely the fastest diagonal swap PLL. This alg is a little longer than most, but it is quite fast. The way this one goes is you start with an R2, and then you go like this. Now this one does also have more rotations, and it's a little more complicated than the algs we've seen up to now, but I guarantee you it is quite fast. So the first move, as I said, is an R2. Now you could double flick it, but I don't recommend double flicking the first move of an alg because it'll get your hand out of the position and it'll be harder to do the other moves fluently. So I would just do two single flicks. Next I have to do a U prime, that one's quite easy. Now, as you can see, right now my pinky is ready to do an R prime. I keep it there so that I can do the R prime very quickly. Now my finger here is ready to do the U move. Do R and then U prime. Now you have to rotate upwards. Now, rotations aren't really something that you learn to finger trick, but they are something that you have to be able to do quickly. The way I would do the X prime is I basically just kind of use my pinky to bring this entire part of the cube down, and then I just re-grip with my thumb here. Now I do U prime. Now I'm going to have to rotate again, do a Z rotation. Do another U prime. Now R like this, U prime. And as you can see, my pinky is ready to do the R prime again. R prime, U prime. Now I do another rotation, a Z rotation. U, R. This alc has a lot of rotations, except keep in mind that they are X rotations, which are relatively quick, quickly, or Z rotations, which are very fast, because you basically don't really rotate the cube. You just kind of modify your perspective on it. Now, do it quickly. I'm going to start off a little slower this time, because this one's a little more complicated. Goes like this. Now if I had an AUF to do, something like this, generally what I would do is I'd just do the alg normally, and then for the AUF, I would just do like an F move like that. Like that. 